You know that settlement you sent me to help? They've decided to join the Minutemen. That's great news. I knew you were the right person for the job. By the way, you should have one of these flare guns. You can use it to signal for help from any nearby Minutemen. Not much use yet, but once we have more allied settlements, you'll have help whenever you need it. I guess you know I'm one of the last But I never really told you what happened to us. Are you really the last minute man? Maybe not literally. There must be a lot of former minute men out there who gave it up in disgust after the Quincy massacre. But we were the last active group of minute men. And now, well, it's just me. What was the Quincy Massacre? I thought everyone in the Commonwealth knew about that by now. I was with Colonel Hollis's group. A mercenary group called the Gunners was attacking Quincy. The people there called for the Minutemen to help. We were the only ones that came. The other groups, they just turned their backs on us and the folks in Quincy. Only a few of us got out alive. Colonel Hollis was dead. So I ended up in charge of the survivors. We never found a safe place to settle. One disaster after another. You saw how it ended in Concord? What was the Quincy Massacre? I thought everyone in the Commonwealth knew about that. I was with Colonel Hall. We were the only a few of us. We never found it. As long as you don't give up, the Minutemen will survive. I'm not about to give up. But I can't protect the Commonwealth all by myself. Hell, I could barely protect these people. That's why I'm talking to you. I can't rebuild the Minutemen, but I think you can. Why can't you lead the Minutemen? That's not who I am. I can get my men through a firefight. I can defend a perimeter against all odds. But that's not going to be enough to bring the Minutemen back from the brink. We need someone who can bring the whole Commonwealth together in a common cause. And I think you've got it in you to be that leader. Mr. Garvey is quite right, sir. If anyone can unite the people, it's you. Okay. I'll do it. That's the spirit, sir. And one giant step in the right direction for the Commonwealth. Good. Good. Welcome aboard. I feel like this is a whole new star for the Minutemen. And the Commonwealth, too. Don't worry. I'll be right beside you all the way, General. Why are you calling me General? The leader of the Minutemen has always held the rank of General. Our last leader was General Becker. After he died back in 82, nobody could agree on who should take his place. The one good thing about being the last Minuteman is, there's no one to argue with me when I say you're the new General. Now it's your job to make it more than an empty title. I've got something a bit different for you. Our scouts have found a promising spot for a new settlement. The trouble is that some kind of vicious beasts are lairing there. Once you clear it out, set up a radio beacon to let settlers know about it. Before you know it, we'll have a thriving new farm instead of wasteland. We'll take back the Commonwealth, one piece at a time. Hey. I'm all in. Hey, Codsworth. Here we are. Your thoughts? A fine decision, sir. Or general, if I may. The Minutemen seem to be quite the upstanding group. How do you feel about our relationship? I'm afraid that's a bit of an unknown, sir. You're no longer the man I knew who went into that vault 200 years ago. What do you think about our relationship? A difficult inquiry, sir. I wonder the same thing myself. Things have certainly changed, and not for the better.
We had a deal, Trudy. Hand over the goods. You owe us. I ain't giving you poison shilling chem pushers anything. Do you know what that junk has done to my boy? He bought them fair and square, Trudy. 
Ain't our fault if he's strung out. Now don't make me come in there and shoot up that little trading post of yours. Whoa, whoa. Easy there, Scammer. This doesn't involve you. What's going on here? That's a simple business dispute, got it? Trudy's sitting on a pile of goods that she owes me. I tried reasoning with her, but it looks like I gotta take what's mine by force. Wanna make some easy money? Help me out. I could use another gun. Or maybe you think you can talk some sense into her. I'll talk to her. Maybe we can work this out. I appreciate it. If things go sideways, we'll back you up. <clears throat> I saw you in that poison cellar talking. Well, he ain't getting his money. Period. Look, you owe the money. If you just pay them, then this'll be over. Everyone walks away without getting hurt. All right, I'll pay. But that bastard ain't gonna sell one more drop of jet to my boy. You hear that, Wolfgang? You'll get your damn money, but I better not catch you selling chems to my boy again. Fine by me, Trudy. Your son's broke as shit anyhow. All right, crisis is over. If you're here to trade, step up to the counter. Hey. We're open for business again. A little lighter in the pocket, thanks to you. How about you buy something and make it up to us? Maybe later. I got a store to run here. You gonna buy? I'll take a look, sure. It's all worth every cap I'm charging. We get paid. <clears throat> Thanks for helping us out with Trudy. You did good. Now, let's talk business. What kind of chems do you sell, anyway? Well, whatever I can get a hold of. Jet's popular. Gives you a rush when you need it. Like when you need to hurt somebody. Stim packs are like gold, of course. Everyone's bound to get hurt and need fixing sometime. And I always try to carry Rad away for obvious reasons. Just pick something up. Have a taste. Best way to get to know the product. I'll take a look. Sure. I got stuff that'll blow your mind.
reconnaissance squad Gladius to any unit in transmission range. Authorization ARCS, Pharaoh 95. Our unit has sustained casualties, and we're running low on supplies. We're requesting support or evac from our position at Cambridge Police Station. Automated message repeating. This is Scribe Halen of Reconnaissance Squad Gladius to any unit in transmission range. Authorization ARCS, Pharaoh 95. Has sustained casualties, and we're running low on supplies. Automated message repeating. This is Scribe Halen of Reconnaissance Squad Gladius to any unit in transmission range. Authorization ARCS, Pharaoh 95. Our unit has sustained casualties, and we're running low on supplies. We're requesting support or evac from our position at Cambridge Police Station. Hey there. We appreciate the assistance, civilian. But what's your business here? Before I answer, will you tell me who you are? In due time. If you want to remain in our compound, I suggest you answer my question first. I'm just trying to survive out here, like everyone else. The way you charged in and engaged those ferals? I find that a bit difficult to believe. Are you from a local settlement? I'm from Vault 111. You're a Vault Dweller? Most people wouldn't admit to such a thing. I appreciate your honesty. If I appear suspicious, it's because our mission here has been difficult. Since the moment we arrived in the Commonwealth, we've been constantly under fire. If you want to continue pitching in, we could use an extra gun on our side. I'll continue to help. Agreed. The more we know, the better we may assist. Very well. I'm Paladin Dance, Brotherhood of Steel. Over there is Scribe Halen and Night Reese. We're on recon duty, but I'm down a man and our supplies are running low. I've been trying to send a distress call to my superiors, but the signal's too weak to reach them. Sir, if I may... Proceed, Halen. I've modified the radio tower on the roof of the police station, but I'm afraid it just isn't enough. What we need is something that will boost the signal. Our target is ArcJet Systems, and it contains the technology we need, the Deep Range Transmitter. We infiltrate the facility, secure the transmitter, and bring it back here. So what do you say? You willing to lend the Brotherhood of Steel a hand? No time to waste. Let's get moving. Outstanding. Halen, take Reese inside and bind his wounds. Yes, sir. Reese, once you're on your feet, I want you to make certain the perimeter is secure. I'm on it. All right, civilian. It's time to prove your worth. Head into the police station and resupply yourself. Then let me know when you're ready to begin. Let's move out, people. All right, Paladin Dance. Let's go. You ready to move out? Yeah, yeah, I'm coming. 
Ready? Outstanding. Follow me. And try not to lag behind. Jet is a short hike to the west. If we take this road, we should be able to avoid the larger packs of ferals infesting Cambridge. Traveling this far from the police station is a risk, but getting that transmitter up and running needs to be our top priority. If it was up to me, I'd relocate my team. But Scribe Halen detected some disturbing energy readings in the area. Well, hello there. We don't know much about them, except that they're short-lived and broadcast on a frequency only attainable with a high level of technology. That whoever, whatever is creating those energy readings might be a potential threat. So it's our job to investigate. Excuse me. The only way you get old in this job is assume everyone's out to kill you. Hey, at least it's honest work. Excuse me. Hey there. You look like someone who could use the talk. Man's best friend, right? You've got a deal. Oh, yeah. You sure? I mean, she's a great dog. Don't get me wrong. I just don't want to sell her to anyone who isn't going to take good care of her. I'll take good care of her. Don't worry. Yeah, okay. You look like you won't need her or anything. So, you really want to buy her? Yes, I really want to buy your dog. Okay. You have some place for her to live, right? Uh, I guess that'll have to be okay. Okay, girl. This is your uh, new owner. He's, he's going to give you a new home. Go on now. You you be a good girl. Bye bye. I uh I gotta go. You take care of her, all right? Not that past me! <laughs> I pushed everyone's 
still alive. Understood. Outstanding. Remember, our primary target is the deep range transmitter. Stay focused and check your fire. I don't want to be hit by stray bullets. security to worry about. Negative. There's nothing good about it. Look at the evidence. There isn't a single spent ammunition casing or drop of blood in sight. These robots were assaulted by Institute Synths. I'll be on the lookout. Roger that. Let's move out.
Detected. Engine core is offline.
is it. Engine core power restored. Thermal engine fueled, primed, and standing by for you. Are you all right? Got cooked by those flames. But thanks to my power armor, I'm still in one piece. The important thing is that we're still alive. We have a way to get to the transmitter. Let's go. Paladin. All right, check your corners and keep it quiet. No time for questions now. We have to keep moving. Heads up. What line is yours, sir? It's stuck.
surface. Smoother? I thought we did fine. That sweep was sloppy. We were caught unprepared more than once, which is unacceptable. However, your extra gun gave us the edge we needed. I'm not certain I could have accomplished the mission alone. I thought we worked well as a team. Agreed. It's a refreshing change to work with a civilian who can follow orders properly. That being said, I believe we have two important matters to discuss. First and foremost, if you'll hand me the deep range transmitter, I'd like to compensate you for your assistance during this operation. I think you'll find this weapon useful. It's my own personal modification of the standard Brotherhood laser rifle. May it serve you well in battle. That isn't necessary. I insist you keep it. The Brotherhood believes in paying all of its debts. Now, as far as the second matter goes, I wanted to make you a proposal. We had a lot thrown at us back there. Our op could have ended in disaster, but you kept your cool and handled it like a soldier. There's no doubt in my mind that you've got what it takes. The way I see it, you've got a choice. You could spend the rest of your life wandering from place to place, trading an extra hand for a meager reward. Or, you could join the Brotherhood of Steel, and make your mark on the world. So, what do you say? What would be expected of me if I joined? You'd be under my command, and I'd expect you to follow orders. No more mercenary work. This is the real thing. You'd have access to advanced military weapons, as well as your own personal suit of power armor. Most importantly, you'd have the Brotherhood at your back, ready to spill its own blood to keep you alive. Offer still stands. Can we count on you? I don't know. There's a lot to take into consideration. It's a big decision, so I understand your hesitation. If you decide you want to become one of us, you know where we are. Good luck. It's up. I'd be of service. 